We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Cincinnati Reds and the Atlanta Braves. Now in the box, Nick Senzel. And we are set for baseball here this evening. The better fielder. Right on the inside black, taken for a called strike. One and one to the Reds' leadoff man. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. Game time temperature, a comfortable 76 degrees. Well below the knees, laid off on the changeup there. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. Got him to go down swinging there. Nick Senzel goes down for the first out of the game. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. A 1-1 count to the Reds' first baseman. Hamels, a 6-4 lefty. He's currently on a one-year deal, so he stands to be a free agent at the end of this season. You know, Matty, I know he's in the final year of his contract, but he's playing to expectations, to be honest with you. I know he, need, he wants to turn it up a little bit, though, as he approaches the end of the season and make that salary push as he heads towards free agency again. 1-0 and oh, the count. Check swing. No swing, says the home putt umpire. Ball two. Even though he was fooled in the box right there by that pitch, he was able to keep his hands back, not overcommit, and the throw to first is there. The inning is over. And that'll bring in the former top prospect, Ozzy Albies. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. First two pitches off the mark here. It's 2-0. and Fouled away. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. First delivery to him on the way. Nick Markakis is at the plate as he looks at ball one. Now a fastball for a called strike. It's one and one. Markakis is unlike many of today's hitters in the sense that he doesn't have a lot of swing and miss in his approach at the plate. More often than not, he gets contact, and I'm sure that makes him a frustrating hitter to face from a pitcher's standpoint. You know, he takes his chances when he has count leverage. Without question, 1-0, 2-0. You'll see this guy try and get nasty a little bit, but he stays within himself. He knows what his strengths are, and he tries to drive the ball right back where it came from. And a fastball to start things out here. Not close. It's a ball and no strikes. That evens it up one and one. Two balls and a strike to Freeman. The count is two and one. This is to right field and deep for Freeman. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. Acuna digs in now. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. The average for him sitting at 312 on the season. 33 home runs and 93 RBIs. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. Swing and a long drive again. This one to deep center. Senzel retreats to the track and he'll put this. Striding into the box, Mike Mustakis. Only one hit in 11 at bats for the series so far. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1 0. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Duvall has to run away before he gets there in time to record the out. How about that? First offering on its way. On the ground to the left side. On to Freeman at first, and there are two away now. So striding forward now, Freddie Galvis, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Acuna's there for it, and the inning is over. 
Ready now, Adalberto Mondesi. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. Lifted the other way out to left center. Center fielder on the run. He makes the play. A fine running catch to get the first out of the inning. Here now is the catcher, Tyler Flowers. Has two hits and 11 trips for the series so far. And the 34-year-old veteran looks at a called strike. It's 0-1. Nope. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. A ball and two strikes, the count to Tyler Flowers. Popped up. Votto has a play. Two down. So digging in now, Dansby Swanson will try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Oh, and this is hit high and deep out to left. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. The relay. And this will wind up a closer play than I thought, but he's in there with two bases. So now to the plate, Adam Duvall. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. And he fouls this one off. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. And he misses there, one and two. This is a huge at bat right here. He wants to get this. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do. In now for the Reds, Philip Irvin. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Now a hard liner, but foul. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0-2. Off the plate at 94, 1-2. Man, the pitcher let the guy off easy right there. That old 2 pitch wasn't even close. I'd rate that as a non-competitive pitch. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first, and no swing. It's ball two. Fouled off. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Can't lose, ball. And he checked his swing, but it's a strike three called, and that's the first out of the inning. Here comes the first pitch. And here's a pitch inside, and that got him. So coming to the plate, Anthony DiSclefani. He could be bunting here in order to stay out of the double play. And they'll try and play for one here as he gets this one down. And Hamels has to flip it onto first, so it winds up a successful sacrifice. Digging in to try it again, Nick Senzel, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. With the way this guy's throwing on the mound, you cannot be chasing. You have to set your sights a little bit lower and control the strike zone. Here's the 1-1. One -one. Swing and a miss as he pulled the string on him. One and two. And a cut fastball, but this bounces near the plate for a ball. Two and two. Here it is. But right there is the second baseman. And now to the plate, the pitcher, Cole Hamels, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. No pitcher. Hit hard on the ground to second. Mustakis is there. And quickly, there's one down to lead off the frame. So up steps Ozzy Albies. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And a check swing here, but he clearly went around on a pitch that would have been a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. A ball and a strike now to the Atlanta leadoff man. That's a great take right there. Great pitch recognition to let that one go. Opposite handed, that's coming across the plate. You might think he got a shot to stay inside that one. Bichette ranges back and he has it for route number two. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Nick Markakis is in with two away as he takes a ball, 1 0. Hey, this is a huge at bat right here. This pitcher wants to end this inning and have three, four, five do up to start the next inning. And Markakis lays off here. It's two and one. 
Marquecas ahead with a three and one count here. This is good patience here to work at the three and one, especially after two quick outs to start the inning. Even if you don't end up getting a hit or drawing a walk, at least you're making the guy work a little bit and giving your pitcher a chance to rest a little. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Throw on Devado will take care of him at first. New inning set to get underway. And standing in is the on-base machine, first baseman Joey Votto. And he takes a cold strike, 0-1. And this is swung on and missed as they jump ahead of Votto here, 0 and 2. And this is swung on and missed by Votto, and he's retired for the first out. Now that first pitch of the at bat on its way, and that changeup makes him jump, a swing and a miss. I'd like to see this lineup start working the count a little bit more and drive up this pitcher's pitch count. Oh, and he dusted him off the plate that time. Some mind games being played now. It's one and two. One of the things every pitcher wants to do is make sure that those hitters aren't very comfortable up there. See how he runs this hard one in right here? That's a pitch you just want to try to get a hitter to move his feet a little bit. Mike Mustakis started to go around, but it's a called strike. 0 and 1. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Down low, two balls and a strike. Sitting in a good spot right here. Two ball, one strike count is yet to see a fastball. Have to be sitting on one right here. Three and one to him now. And the count will be full. Two out, nobody on. And another foul ball. Struck him out, so he makes quick work. Bottom of the inning now, and that brings in Freddie Freeman. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. 0-2 count, you could do just about anything you want right now. Up, down, in, out, hard, soft. Good time to be a pitcher. The 1-2. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. And now the Atlanta number four hitter, Ronald Acuna, comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And the pitch. And he takes strike two. He's in complete command of his two seamer right now. It's got great movement, great depth, running all over the place. This offense is going to have a tough time. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. Oh, and he struck him out as well. So he's carving right through the heart of this lineup as there are two away now. Number 27. Slider gets the outside. That's a strike. Outside at 94. One ball and one strike. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. He's through first and hustling for second. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Now that the catcher. In now, Tyler, Tyler. Flowers. Yes, yeah, he'll take a look at ball one. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Down low, two balls and a strike. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Swing and a miss much too early, and that makes it a full count. You know he wants to end this inning right here on three and two, but I don't think we'll see him lay one in on the next pitch there with a base open to work with. Fielded by Galvis. And a low throw to first, but Votto's able to... Ready now for Cincinnati, Aristides Aquino. He'll lead it off here against Cole Hamels. Here's Hamels back at it now as the first pitch is swung on and missed for strike one. Man, this has been a game filled of a lot of swings and misses. Not very many confident swings, and this team up there, they'd swing at a butterfly right now if it flew in front of the plate. Lots of swings, lots of misses, a lot of ugly at-bats for this team right now. And he looks at a cold strike three as the cut fastball's in there, and that's out number one. No balls and a strike to count. 
No runs, no hits, and no errors in the game for Cincinnati thus far. Galvis behind 0-2. I know it's cliche and it's tired at times, but a well-located fastball down at the knees is still the best pitch in the game. Swanson scoops it up, throw on to first, and Hamels has retired the first two in the inning. Striding in once again, Philip Urban looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Hit in the air out to center field, and he'll get there in plenty of time to... And next will be Dansby Swanson digging in. One for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. Ball one to start the at bat. Two and oh the count to Dansby Swanson. Hey after the double in his first at bat looks like he's trying to pitch around this guy a little bit. Two and one. This is popped up. Votto moving to his left one away. Stepping into the box, Adam Duvall. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one and one. And it's fouled away. They try to come in with the fastball, but it's too far in, and it's even at two and two. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. First pitch coming, here it is. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. Uh, this gets foul, it's 0 and 1. And the third baseman will have a look at it, but this is back into the seats. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. Fastball well outside. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end. Coming to the plate now, Kirk Casale. He's two for seven in the series so far. We're moving through the middle of this ball game right now. They want to get things going. How about trying to get some base runners on or at least get a base hit? They don't have any hits going into this part of the game. Now batting the pitcher. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Anthony DiSclafani is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. The 1 0. Hit back up the middle. And the Reds have their first hit of the game. The batter. The Stepping in now, Nick Senzel. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Red center fielder in front with a 2 0 count. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers pitches and when he's getting the ball in his own he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. Hot shot on the ground is short and that finds its way through for a base hit. The first baseman number 19. In is Joey Votto now. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Votto behind, but still dangerous even on 0 2. The Reds have been searching for that big hit all game long. Let's hope they can get it. They're starting to run out of time. It's about time for something to happen. The 1 2. Pops this one up. But this will land untouched. DiSclafani over at second. Senzel is over at first with one away. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. And that's going to get the job done. It's a base hit. And the run is in to score from second. Now that third baseman. So at the plate now, Bo Bichette. As he takes a called strike on the black, it's 0-1. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Ball 1. That one looked like it could easily have gone the other way. There's a big difference between 0-2 and 1-1. But now this next pitch probably becomes the biggest of the at-bat. Two balls and a strike to count. Nearly got the inside, but ruled a ball. 
Couldn't be a whole lot better situation to hit it now. Three and one, two on. He's got to be thinking he's going to get a pitch he can drive right here. And he misses with it, ball four. So that'll load the bases, and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. Open stance by Mustakis, and now the pitch. And a changeup here misses off the corner to start him out. It's ball one. And this will be fouled away. After fouling off the second one, I got to step out of the box, adjust my batting gloves, and tell myself there's no chance he's tripling up on that pitch. He's set, and the 2 1 pitch. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Markakis looks up. Gone! It's a grand slam! So the call's gone out for the right-hander Mark Melanson as he'll take over on the mound. Into the box now, Aristides Aquino. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. And he takes this one high, one and one. Five runs on only four hits and no errors in the game for Cincinnati thus far. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. Fastball laid off well below the knees. Freddie Galvis waits on deck. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. Mm, definitely had the distance, but it winds up a foul ball. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Ready once again, Freddie Galvis. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. To second for one, relay to Freddie, double play, and that'll end the inning. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and standing in as the switch hitting second baseman, Ozzy Albies. Here's a cold strike about thigh high, nothing in one. Well, they've really had an answer for keeping him in check in this series. He's offered very little resistance with the bat in his hand so far. And the throw on to first will take care of him. So he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield. One away. And he'll look at a fastball that doesn't miss by a whole lot. It's 1-0. Line towards center field. But sadly for him, this will head straight to the center fielder as he puts it away without much trouble for the second out. Easy fly ball into shallow center field. In comes the left fielder. He makes the catch. What a play on the run. Grant Dayton is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Seventh inning ready to roll. And standing in the outfielder, Philip Irvin. Here's the first pitch to him. Hit hard to the right. Foul. The 0 and 1 delivery. A great job of changing speeds there. It's 0 and 2. Fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Now, back. now at the play, yep. Kurt Casale, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. High in the air into shallow left center. Duvall comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for out number two. Now at the plate, the Anthony DiSclefani, he singled his Anthony. last time up. Yeah, he showed like a little prowess with the bat right there, Dan. I'd be surprised if they don't attack him a little bit more carefully, this A.B. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. And here's a fastball in for strike one. 91 miles an hour that time. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Yeah. 
fouled away. And he takes very close to the inside corner here. Two and two, though. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. He's set. Here's the three and two. Lifted in the air out to right. On the move is Markakis. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Now batting the seventh field, Nick Senzel. To the plate now, Nick Senzel. Fly ball out toward left center field. Acuna giving chase. But he can't get to it, and that'll score the runner from second as it hops over the wall for a ground rule double. So up steps the former MVP, Joey Votto. A bouncer to the left side. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error. As Last half of the seventh here, and at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Ronald Acuna. Now a fastball that couldn't quite find the zone. It's ball one. Man, this guy's had their number all game long. Up, down, in and out. He's pitching very well. A ball and a strike now. And he pulled up in time, but it's a called strike two. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Now with the plate, Adalberto Mondesi. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. Galvis has it, and an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow! Now to the plate, Tyler Flowers. He was a ground-out victim last time up. Lying toward the gap in left center. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. So the two-out hit here extends the inning for Dansby Swanson. Dansby Swanson lining up to hit. A ball and no strikes. He's working on a one for two game so far. This one's flared off to the right side. Here comes the right fielder. He's got it. A great running play, and that'll retire the side. Chris Martin will come on now, and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Austin Riley is into the ball game as well, as he'll slide into the pitcher spot, hitting ninth now on the double switch. That's just too much velocity upstairs to get good wood on it. It's going to have to lower his sights. And that misses two and one. You got two balls, one strike. A little too tall that time. Three and one now. On deck, Mike Mustakis. Hit out towards second. Albies brings it in. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. Into the box now, Mike Mustakis. He's working on a one for three thus far. Open stance by Mustakis, and now the pitch. Here's the 0 1. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 2. Martin is a reliever known for forcing contact. Not a huge strikeout guy most of the time, but he also doesn't issue a lot of free passes either. There's a couple of keys to being a good reliever. One, if you have great stuff and you strike everybody out, or like this guy, not afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. He has good stuff, not great stuff. He's not afraid to let his defense help him out and make some plays. Hey, that's not an easy pitch to hold your swing up. I know it looked like it was way off the plate. Good job not swinging at it. Sinker stays outside and is behind now 2 0. Oh. Smoke toward third. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And standing in is the veteran outfielder, Adam Duvall. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Robert Stevenson is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth.
Here comes the first pitch. And they start him out with a slider. Good spot, but he doesn't get the call. 1 and 0. A swing and a ground ball to third. And that's a fair ball as this one gets by him at third. Throw into second. Throw won't get him. Now Standing in now, Austin Riley. He hits it hard on the ground to the left. And that's through into left to base hit. And they'll put the brakes on at third. Runners at the corners with nobody out. In now, Ozzy Albee. He grounds it sharply to third. There's one on to first, and it's a double play, although the run does come into score from third. Here's Nick Markakis now, the right fielder. First pitch coming. Here it is. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Hey, hats off to the pitching staff right here. They've been able to hold a hot hitter in check in game four of this series. Hit down the line at first, but this will be a foul ball, and it's still 0-2. Got to take advantage of that pitch right there. 0-2 breaker hanging over the heart of the plate. Not going to see too many of those today. In there, a base hit. And he'll coast into second here with a two-out double. Here's the first baseman, the Freddie first Freeman. Baseman, He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Freeman. Chased a low ball there, and he's quickly down in the count 0-2. Not much you're going to do with that. There's a swing and a drive, and everybody's just going to sit back and watch that one fly. A no-doubt home run. And here's Ronald Acuna Jr. now. As he'll watch a slider that runs out of the strike zone away for ball one. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. This is line to left. Irvin is going to have room out there as he... Will Smith enters the game from the pen. And because this is a non-save situation, it's evident that they're just trying to get him some work after having not thrown in several days. Yeah, and this is all about just getting him some work, guys. He hasn't had a chance to come in and close a game out for several days now, so they're just hoping they can keep him sharp and give him a chance to pitch in a real game situation here. Chopper to short. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. That'll bring in Philip Irvin. He was sat down on strikes in his last at-bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Set. Here it comes. And he'll hold off on the slider here to start the at bat. It's ball one. Man, that's a great take right there. Backdoor slider just missed the outside corner. This guy must have a really good eye. Most guys swing at that pitch. Liner toward right center. And that'll make him one for four in this one. Now that is Pepper for the foul. Stepping in now, Kurt Casale. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. One ball, Here's one a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's 1-1. One and one. This is foul right side. Runners on first with one down. Two balls and two strikes to the Reds catcher. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. And the slider gets him swinging. Two gone. The Eugenio Suarez will look for some two-out magic here as he'll pinch hit with two gone and a runner at first. And that misses ball one. And he's carrying a batting average of just over 300. So clearly he's been a productive player with the bat in his hand so far. 
And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. And that's in there on the outer half. One and two now. He's looking pretty passive here, hitting with a chance to drive and a run. Going to have to make something happen with two strikes now. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Duvall will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. Amir Garrett is the man called on to close this one and earn a save in the night. Stepping in, Adalberto Mondesi for his career in this matchup. He's one for two. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. Ground ball left side. Galvis gets to it. Throw not nearly in time as he reaches it first. At the plate, Tyler Flowers, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. He's working on a one for three thus far. And this is popped foul off to the right and back into the seats. Ready with the 0-2. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two-seamer, and that's out number one. Ender Inciarte will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. Fastball well outside. That batting average hovering in the high 230s. One home run and five driven in. The 1-1. Now here's a comebacker back to the mound. Galvis on to first and he rolls a double play ball to end it here as this ball game is over. Yeah, and they end this thing with style, turning that double play to preserve the win. That's what we call finishing strong. A 6-4 to four finish in tonight's affair. The Cincinnati Reds wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Anthony DiSclefani earns his eighth victory of the season. Amir Garrett wraps it up for the save, his 20th of the season. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and...